to Lula and Ellen when you're done and you've slept up a little bit more you can have some pancakes for breakfast can you imagine they're sitting there in the morning and looking at that set of pajamas and those bunny slippers I mean, is that or is that not terrifying Melody Flower, if you can find them, that would be absolutely marvellous. I would thank you very, very much. I don't think there is a child tiara and the basic set, and we should be able to find an adult one, all right. But if you can do it, that would be great. Thank you. All right, let's get these walls down. I was trying to, try to work out what was looking a bit weird here, and it's that. Uh, what state is she in? Okay, so hold her and change her nappy and change her outfit into every day and still can't talk to her. I taught her to talk. Oh, I think that's possibly a little bit of a bug that creaked in. Attack her with a claw and toss her in the air and tickle her. That should do nicely. So, let's see what a mess you've made out of this. Hmm, going so far, alright so far. Can you, can you imagine, right, Damien the chef, and thank you Melody Flower, that would be really, really kind of you. I want you guys to imagine Damien the chef, okay. I want you to, you, know, you go to a restaurant, it's a nice restaurant, you've, you know, enjoyed the meal, and you say, you know, can, can I speak to the chef, please, I'd like to compliment him. And that walks out. Don't know about you, but that sounds pretty damn terrifying to me. As does their combination of dressing gown, uh, of uh, pajamas, uh, change outfits every day. Use your nice clean toilet and wash your hands, put those away. And what do you need for your career? Um, definitely charisma. So let's get you working on your charisma a little bit. Mm hmm. Love. Just imagine you're a mother and a father, though, and your, your teenage daughter comes home with that. <laughs> right, why are you brain frozen? You're brain frozen. Come on, there we go. I was kind of hoping that she'd have um, filled her nappy by, the by this point, but she hasn't. <laughs> and I think that's a very wise statement to make. There, that's got to social up. Okay, and tickle. And we've got a bit of a balancing act here. Right, feed her. Then we'll probably need to change her nappy again, but it doesn't matter. There you go, that's good. You bother about you're bothered about everything. Alright, and what should we do with you? Well that to start off with. Oh, oh, oh. 
How are you doing on ghost catching? You caught seven, so if we send you to work today, you'll probably get that. Um, I think we need to do with you is make friends with a few people. Oh, you managed to screw that relationship up a bit, didn't you? Give her a call. Huh. I didn't know the tab key did that. Oh, hey. Right. You, why do you still have a chance? Use the potty. Use the potty, look. Use the potty. What's in here? <laughs> ah, more bills. Yay! Oh, I can't see you ever paying the bills, so you can pay the bills. You, on the other hand, are thinking about it. Send a love letter. Yay! Ellen has charisma. I didn't think we knew that. Ellen has charisma. Mm. Quite amazing. The people like me. People like to talk to me. Okay, guys. I think that is a wonderful idea. What do you think? Should we get Ellen to learn the martial arts skill? No. Yes, I think that has got to be done. What do you think? What else has she got? What are you guys thinking? Okay, um... Don't go to the summer festival. Use the charming introduction. And yeah, I mean, the, the jury is out here. What do you guys think? I think we're definitely on a yes here, aren't we? I think it has got to be done. <laughs> All right, okay, unless somebody, a lot of people say no, I'm going to promise that to her. Which probably means we're going to have to send her out to China. And I think I'm actually I think I'm gonna promise that to her. Then yeah, you know, she'll go out to China and learn the martial arts skill. And come back a stronger Ellen than she was before. Oh yes. Oh yes. <laughs> I'm glad I saw that now. Damien's being bonked on the head by hailstones, but not quite smart enough to come in. Um see what you're like okay you definitely need to sort yourself out so use and shower and you're in a good state somebody's probably off to work in a little bit oh of course it's festival day today isn't it so there's gonna be no work right in which case I don't know if you noticed, but she's actually having fun talking into the mirror. Interesting. Right, sort those things out, and then... Okay, guys, should we send a love letter to Ivan Robbins or Olive Kipling? And... Yeah, quite frankly, we're going to end up dating both of them at least once, but... Which one should we do first? Right, one for Ivan. Yeah, somebody's lining up the slash fan fictions. Hello, uh, not for much longer, King. It's half past midnight now, but uh, uh, we'll be for a little bit longer. We're trying to decide whether to send a love letter here to Ivan Robbins or Olive Kipling. Um, I think, to be totally honest, you, Damon is of the "I'll do anything" to anything. But uh, I think I want to get your guys' opinions first. Uh, 
So I think we're we're pretty much leaning towards Ivan here, aren't we? But I want to give a little bit longer for people to uh, to jump in, just in case just in case we have a sudden rush of the olive. And it's not going to happen, really, is it? Let's be honest here. You guys are not going to be picking olive. Anyone else? Anyone else? Going once, going twice. Sold. Oh, Ivan, I'd like you to lead your Cossacks straight to my heart. And yeah, you, you learn logic. I want to pick you up a few skills here, and yes, leave leave Damien alone for him to uh, to write his love letter there. And how are you doing? Oh, you're doing well. That's excellent. I think we had a bit more money. I'd love to get some uh, children's books for her. Ellen has just earned a love lifetime happiness to purchase a reward. We'll try that out in a little bit. Um, open bookshelf. What do we have in here? Kids book. Right, count that one, that one, that one, and that one. And Damien, what are you doing? Right, when you are done, I want you to read with Tallulah. Yeah, well, I, th I think this. I think this. There's a there's a fairly good chance that that's going to happen. To be totally honest with you, I think even if it doesn't matter, it's probably been shipped a dozen times. So why not? Ooh, Tallulah's got a peg box skill to level three. speed you up a little bit okay and Ellen can learn her logic it'll make her a bit look happy and Damien can do the daddy thing because he's basically ignored the child all day come along here we go I gotta be honest with you this is such a cute animation isn't it right, let's Getting close. Right, okay. I want a screenshot of this. So that bookshelf is going to have to move. There we go. Eek. Come on, get that right. Okay, and then... tab to get rid of all that and take a shot and that's probably going to end up as an episode uh, <laughs> screen at one point or another that's quite cute okay let's put that back and let's let them get on with reading their story yeah thanks Rory Sims I actually only learned that today I've seen other people do it, but I had no idea how to do it. And I hit tab by accident. I thought, ooh. This is Ellen doing what she loves to do best. No, she, we need to get her fun up. So when she's got that point of skill, I'll probably get her to watch the telly or something for a little bit. The time, no, they're probably not going to get to the uh, watch it shop in a bit, are they? Dirty surroundings, oh yeah, okay, well when you're done with the story, if you empty that, that'll be good. Right, 
He's such a good dad when he actually remembers to do so, isn't he? It won't last. When Salula goes to bed, I think we need to send Damien out. He needs to prowl. Let's speed this up a little bit. Get through it a little bit, have a little bit of my drink because I'm getting a touch horse. Somebody's enjoying this book, aren't they? Uh, social, yeah, a little bit of social. She's maxed out fun. This is been good for her, isn't it? Shorter aid. Uh, I'm not entirely certain what bluish eggs with a side of pastrami is going to do for her, but it's, it appears it's going to help her later in life. That's good. I think max this one out. Yes, but as they say, I couldn't eat a whole one. Uh, what are you up to, Damien, my boy? Oh, yeah, you're emptying that. Excellent. Okay. Oh. Oh. Yes, yeah, that one can at least be promise you that one. I don't want you to buy a dryer just yet. Because, quite frankly, I'm not organized enough for you to do the household work like that. And. Uh, no. Use a charming introduction instead. Okay, right. Damien's too dim to come in. What are you doing? Streaming video. Alright, what should we do with you, my boy? I think what we're going to do with you is we're going to change you into your funky best. Oh, what the hell. And then we're going to find you somewhere to go. Auntie Ellen can put him to bed. What is this? The grind. Visit the grind. Mm. And look what are you doing, Auntie Ellen? You're reading this book. And loving it by the looks of it. Has she picked up any skill yet in this? Yeah, you've already got logic one. Be worth more than 20,000. Yep, I think we can promise that one. And I think I want you to get on with a few other things now, so... Uh, let's watch a little bit of telly for a bit. Watch TV. And let's find a suitable channel for you. Hmm. Romantic Rendezvous or Terror TV? Go on, terrify yourself a little bit. Mm, I've forgotten about the subway in this area. I really don't like it. Pardon me. Mm, excuse me. <laughs> You've got a taxi for that. Everyone here is uh, this place is dead because I'm here. <laughs> right. Okay, so converse with mixologists. I ramble aimlessly, it seems about right for a Damien, doesn't it? Order a drink. Logo. Okay, and we'll come back to you in a little bit. I think we're going to find you 
somebody to date with, whether it kills you or not. 